We're going to do some hellfire. There is no normal. Wrap it on. Okay. Amazing. I'm ready. Hell, give me this gun the whole time, honestly. I'm ready with this. Yeah, missiles. These dudes think they're safe. Mess them up. Killed that whale ship. My lasers keep getting better and better. I don't know when they're gonna cap. I thought they would by now, they just keep getting better. Blast him from the front. I've been sitting on my bombs because I didn't feel like I needed them yet. I'm going to start using them on things that I think are tanky. All the terrain is destructible. I think my uh, my orbital is just automatically going in and smashing into enemies on his own. So yeah, he is uncontrolled. He's just doing work on his own. Nowhere near as good as the Gradius options, but it's doing something. And 
I don't have to worry about him. That didn't work out too well. You have to aim down the right street to hit that orb. It moves around. colony. Yeah, he's he's crushing those Arrowhead things by himself. I don't even participate in killing those. I think we have finally achieved max power. Also. My barrier! Ran into one. That was silly of me. <laughs> it's Pharaoh just hanging out. Looks like he's relaxing on the sofa with his cannon. taken out. Well, let's see what happens when I do. I'm curious about that anyway. We do lose everything. Same gimmick. Same issue. Now, will it be as hard to catch up to where I was as the other game was? This is more like Gradius, where I think I have a chance. But man, there's a lot going on in this particular area. I do have bombs on my side. But they're straight clears forward. I ran into the ceiling myself there. You have to play better than you have the entire game to get fixed in a situation like this. I need a couple more boosts to be safe, obviously. 
a power up would really hit the spot because we just take too many shots to kill these things. Oh my god, that gun is crazy annoying. I'm back in. We're not full power, but we're we're like three out of five on it, and that's not too bad a place to be. Jeez, the sarcophagus boss, man. I misinterpreted what it was up to pretty hard there. Now I have to do it without a power up. Maybe I'll get some here actually. Yeah, one or two. I just need to hang out here like a regular shmup and not use the gimmick and go under it because going under it is way too dangerous. measure exactly how strong I was compared to what I am now and I'm about as strong as I was then because two shots for each of those is about where I was I haven't been using that because I don't think it's a very great screen clear compared to what it often is in schmucks I wish it were better because that would help you recover Get my option back I haven't had him in a while He's actually really damaging. We are there again. Back to where I was. On this last life, recovered. I wish it didn't do contact damage, but man, that thing is wild. It was fun to fight, but I failed.
I like Gradius okay, but it's always been an issue with it, and uh, that's that's the game I'll compare any shmup that does this too, because that's the one that I'm most familiar with that did it. Uh, a store like UN Squadron has is better, a better way to get power ups, just permanently have them, pretty much. Even UN Squadron didn't do that very well though, because they they have the consumables that you have to buy, and you could put yourself in a position where you can't have any anymore, and then you can't really win. A boss like that I would like to be tankier than it probably actually is, and have extra lives to throw at it, and just wear it down. It would be more fun than having to be perfect at it. Especially since every bit of it does contact damage and it flails around like it does. Got him. Like most of that was just... You're going back pretty far if you get hit by this. And that was wildly close. I've probably played Tyrion. I've played a lot of shmups. I don't remember most of them. Gradius was like the only one I actually had as a kid uh, that I remember caring about. I had a bunch on the NES, but none of them were good except for Gradius. I played Tiger Heli and its 30 second loop of music for like 10 hours. Oh, the orb! I need to take advantage of my shooting styles more, because uh, shooting straightforward isn't always great. I feel like this is a safer thing to do against these orbs. I wish I made it to the next checkpoint, but I, I kind of don't at the same time. Because this is getting nasty here. I might have, and I'm not sure what to do now. Okay, these orbs blow up into bullets. Oh my god! They've wiped me out. I was mostly checking to see if it had a game over screen, but uh, we're going to move on at this point to Disney's Hercules. Hercules. I feel like I've played this before and it's not Hercules in any capacity. It's unlicensed for one. Yeah, I've seen this before, and it's like, I'm this lady, who is this Cyclops that I'm riding? Or Ogre, or whatever it is. <laughs> Let me disable the music for a while. With my one attack. It's, it's called something completely different? Okay. Oh, my ogre. Bound to happen, I guess.
Why did I do that? God damn it. So many in your face enemies in this. Have I played the original version of this? Let me look actually. I have the name. I might have, yeah. Let me load that up real quick. And see if it's the same game. Because if it is, I already did this. I mean, it's got a title screen now, <laughs> so that's good. It didn't have that before. Yeah, it is exactly the same. Okay, so I did do this one before, so I'm just gonna move on. Um, I've certainly done Hercules 2 before, which has a great title song. I recently heard the song that this is. It's like the best song in this dumb movie, which isn't a very good Disney movie as far as they go. This game is something else though. Ah uh, yes, if you don't destroy these dummies, they, they hit you. I'm an expert at this game, in fact. Hercules is so strong, it takes him three hits to destroy a dummy. Uh, the bats are even worse, because they fly around, it takes him three hits for those two. The coins up there don't have any effect at all in-game. They just don't ever get used. So, you can collect them, but why? The jumping, um, I forget exactly how it works. Uh, if you hold jump, you cannot move, you just go straight up. You have to release jump or else you can't move. And, uh, that's weird because usually in games you hold jump to get distance and your jump height. But in this, you always jump the same height, so you just gotta tap, jump, or else get screwed. The H, on the other hand, I don't remember if it does anything or not. Uh, you can spell his name, but I don't think it does anything for you. <laughs> yeah! These freaking birds! I raced this in Kuso for the first time, obviously, because you do those blind, and uh, most most of the players got stuck on levels one and two, I think, and I had almost beaten it because I was I was a natural at Hercules two, unlicensed edition, it would appear. I needed like 70 minutes to finish it, and I had 60, so I came that close. Um... 
what is the what is the PlayStation version of this that it's a knockoff of? I played some Hercules game that was pretty unrelated to the movie. Good. Good stuff. That right there, I just wasn't holding it in long enough. That that button exists at all is confusing, but that you have to hold it in for 10 spins of his fist or whatever to break it, and there's no indication at all. That's the kind of stuff that'll confuse you, right? You just see a player get stuck there for like 10 minutes trying to figure out how to get past that, that wall. Of course, this is all in one go. You have to beat the whole level in one attempt, so me being at two health fighting these bats is a bad place to be. Oh no! It's a bat place to be. Thanks for the sub. Well, if you're interested in this dumb game, I have a full playthrough of it, so I'm gonna move on to a new one. On my YouTube somewhere is a full playthrough of it. Because I did finish it after the Crusoe didn't let me. Tanks! this co-op? A B ground, A B grund, strand, Ozzy. Did I get hosted by somebody? I, I can't tell. It's come to my attention that the people auto-hosting me these days is an incredibly long list, so I can't even... Wow, this is a mess. What do I do? Why are there four bars? I'm this guy. What is that noise? I... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. My, is my goal down right or up left? Uh, let's go up left. It needs to regenerate its energy. Oh, I can't move. What a baffling adventure. It looks like it could be neat, but what the hell do you do? Ha! <laughs> 
Is it an RTS? Let me let me look at this map better or whatever. Okay. Is this space mine now? What's happening? Can we make it to the top left before we explode? Yo. any of this is. This seems like an enemy base. Now what? myself outmaneuvered. Oh, I'm not allowed to shoot anymore. That's new and un un uninspiring. Yeah, I'm legit unarmed. It's very complicated, I guess. It's not going to be a game I can figure out by myself. Damn. 